The White House confirms President Biden is considering federal judge J. Michelle Childs of South Carolina to replace Justice Stephen Breyer on the Supreme Court. Mississippi Republican Senator Roger Wicker criticized the president's promise to nominate a black woman, comparing it to affirmative action. The way that the president has handled this nomination has been clumsy at best. It adds to the further perception that the court is a political institution. Still, moderate Republican Senator Susan Collins told ABC News this week that diversity benefits the court. Take a look back at history. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin, chair of the Judiciary Committee, pushed back against the criticism. It was Ronald Reagan who announced that he was going to appoint a woman to the Supreme Court, and he did. Durbin says any black woman who's achieved the success necessary to be considered for the Supreme Court has done it against great odds. The White House said Judge Childs is one of the candidates being considered, and the judge has at least one powerful Republican in her corner. I can't think of a better person. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham on CBS Face the Nation. She's considered to be a fair-minded, highly uh, gifted uh, jurist. President Biden said he plans to finalize his pick in the next few weeks, and Senate Democrats expect the historic nominee, whoever she may be, to be quickly confirmed. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.